The origin, unfortunately, was Hurricane Ike. After storm surge poisoned the island's trees with salt water, killing tens of thousands of them where they stood, what could have been a blight became a boon, thanks to a woman named Donna Liebert. Who uh, went to the city and got the city to approve um, making tree sculptures in the city right-of-ways, and then, of course, people wanted to do them in their yards as well. She has it in her mind. She wants to save all of these trees that have been killed from by the storm surge. You can't tell the story of Galveston Island's tree sculptures without this character. I'm a whittler. Now, most people think of whittling, and they think of tiny things. You work on big things. I just use a bigger pocket knife is all. <laughs> With an engine. That's right. <laughs> James D. Phillips, Jim to his friends, stumbled into wood carving later in life. Back in 2005, I was cutting a tree down in my front yard, started doodling with a chainsaw, made a pelican or something, and friends and family go, wow, Jimmy, can, can you do that again? And I got obsessed, and I started making stuff all the time. Including the island's first few tree sculptures near City Hall. So in 2013, I, um, I quit my proper job um, and quit getting haircuts. And now I just go around carving trees, and I, and, and I make studio work in, in my backyard for sale down at the Renee Wiley Gallery. You can check out his work here and all over the island, along with carvings by other artists. It's amazing to see, and it's amazing to see them crop up around town. If you need a guide to all of the tree sculptures on the island, you can pick up a brochure or you can follow a map on your phone. And it turned into a big deal. I mean, it's like, it's like tour buses and stuff. I just hopped in a golf cart with Jim and Priscilla Files, the executive director of the Galveston Island Tree Conservancy, to see some for myself. I love them all. There's a story behind every one of them. It just makes the island even more magical than it already is. Reporting in Galveston, Brandy Smith, KHOU 11 News. If you want to explore more hidden gems, you've got options. You can watch this playlist, check out this video, or go to khu.com slash hidden gems. We have an interactive map there that will help you scout out where you want to go next, plus more details about all the gems we featured.